Lads, lads, and lassies, welcome back to more Dr. Stone. My name's Josh, and, well, we have a tournament arc, kind of. I don't know how long this tournament arc is going to be. I don't know how big it's going to be, but a tournament arc it is, nonetheless. Last episode, there is going to be this fight to see who's going to be the chief of the village that Senku is currently modernizing, shall we say. And this village doesn't really like Senku that much. There's only like a very small handful of people that actually like want him kind of there. But we have Gaston. I refuse to call him by anything else. He's practically just Gaston. He wants the hand of marriage of the daughter of the chieftain. Mostly so he can become chieftain. And then he's just going to kill off the, uh, the daughter. Or make her his... Slave, and he's planning on doing that with her sister too. So the goal is not to let Gaston win. There are a few potential winners of this tournament arc. I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure Gaston ain't going to be even close to winning. But you know, we can have the guards win, which I kind of don't think they'll do that. Uh, Kohaku could win. I don't think that'll happen either. Or that, that is actually a likely possibility, but it's not going to it's not going to fix the problem because her winning the last tournament. Is what caused this. She only delayed the inevitable. So we either have Senku winning or Chrome winning. I really hope it's Chrome because that'd just be awesome for him. He he deserves this win. And if Senku wins, well, that's just science over bra or brain over brawn. Science over brawn, you know. But let's see if we actually get into the tournament arc in this episode, or maybe we see what uh, Sukasa's up to. Who knows? Let's do this, lads. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're gonna are we ever gonna get him a new spear? Glass. Oh, making glass, huh? What's that? Isn't the plan to start making medicine? Yeah, it is. But, but glass is pretty good to make that. First. Beakers. Us aren't gonna cut it for the kind of experiments we'll be doing. You can even see through it, which means you can observe the reactions inside. Oh, he's so excited about that part. <laughs> we might finally get the chance to yank off that melon. Take a look at Great Detective Suika. Ooh. Finally see that mysterious mug. <laughs> Yoink! Stop, thank you! That was so much easier than I thought oh gosh, would end up being. You're just the most adorable little thing. What in the hell? Well, she's mad. She's mad. <laughs> I didn't think we get to see her face so soon. That was not cool of you, Senku, though. That was not cool. Oh, I just realized, uh, this is episode 11. We're going to have to end up saying goodbye to this intro soon. What, like two or three episodes? Who is this old man? Who is he? She needs sick. glasses. It's fuzzy to me. So when I try really hard to see, I end up looking like this, and it's super embarrassing. Oh. There's nothing wrong with you. In a technological civilization, this isn't a big deal at all. We have scientific eyes made out of glass. They're called glasses, and they help you see clearly. It's oddly wholesome of him to be saying. Scientists can actually make new eyes. That's not really how glasses. That's not really what glasses are. They just help with eyes. Aww. I'd love to see all the beauty in the world. All right, I'm ready to do this. All right, we gotta make glasses now. This is the most important. Sorry, really. It's the what most important you part to do. Glass is mostly made out of silica or quartz sand. <laughs> just get sand and put it in a furnace. That's the Minecraft that, the hobby. That translucent rock you've got in your hand is a quartz crystal, and it tends to be found Ooh, in areas quartz. of the granite. We've already gathered everything we're gonna need. Our hard work keeps paying off. Ten percent calcium carbonate. Ah, I miss him. And at twenty, I miss him. Where is he? I know where he's at. Where is he? And lo and behold, we have super transparent crystal Whoa. glass. Perfect for a lens. We still need to like calibrate it, right? To her eyes? Corundum's is nine, so it's perfect. Oh yeah, it's gonna work like a charm! I have no idea what they're talking about. I actually do know about the hardness here. I literally just finished a college class on this. <laughs> So yeah, they are calibrating it. Oh. <gasps> that's adorable. Oh, that's adorable. It's not like I can't see anything at all, you know. I just have to try. Jeez. 
That was a scrunched face. Oh no, now they're getting blurry again. <laughs> it's just like the light bulb. Who would have thought glasses would make someone so emotional? <sighs> I love this show. You obviously have the fuzzy sickness. That's the main reason why you have such a mess. Oh, look he on also face. needs glasses. I was born like this. Don't you understand, oh. Kiro? I know how to fight already. And I mean, at least he, at least he has an excuse to suck. Young, okay? Such excuses are unbecoming of a grown man. Oh, come on. Don't tell anyone about this, Kiro. Instead of a golden spear, give him some golden glasses. And now that Sweek has leveled up on her labor potential statistics. <gasps> no. Actually put together a full chemistry set. <laughs> I love those little like stat things, it's like acquired glass. I mean, they've been doing it. I just like I just haven't I mentioned. It. I really to start do love it. Primitive glass making class and make a specialized glass blowing furnace. Ooh. Next, we'll craft an iron straw, use it to blow up the glass with air, and that's it. Hey. Not too talented, are you guys? A craftsman? Is is Master Roku a glass craftsman? Yes! That's why they had him in the it's intro with the fire and the glass! Who the hell is that old fart? Is this really how you young'uns ask for favors these days? Because I'm not into they this up. rope play stuff. Whoa! I'm not interested in being a part of whatever black arts you're doing here. The handiwork on that shield is remarkable for this era. So I had a feeling there must be an expert craftsman behind it. He's still tied up. I never expected you'd be a dusty old fossil. <gasps> Wait, what is this see-through stonework you've got? Yes. <laughs> oh no, they got him. I won't force you to help if you don't want to. The shape changes so easily. Crap! Flew it up too much again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in there now. He's gone. He's too invested. Are they doing it this badly on purpose just to piss me off? Because that's definitely what's happening. Oh, he's hooked. <laughs> I can't take it anymore! <laughs> Boy, you got me real good, damn it! Gramps is ripped! Take a crack at it. Space jacked. Who'd have guessed? I love it! I love it! Favorite character. <laughs> I've been a craftsman for 50 years, believe it or not. In Look fact, it's not a big deal. Dudes with true talent have spent their whole lives with their heads down and completely dedicated to their work. I love it. I love this old man. Look at this. Look at all that glass he made. Oh, I thought that was the sound effect of someone like hammering something. Senku, what's the matter with you, man? We finally have a killer let him, lab. Let him you get excited? have this moment. Yeah, sure. He is excited. Just look at all the attractions. It's got to be 10 billion times more fun <sighs> than this show's so land. good. Because the kingdom of science rules. Hey, Robo Senku. Mecha Senku at your service. It's been a while. It's so yummy. Hey man, if you eat that all day, you're gonna get tired of it like the fish, okay? I love this old man so much. How many shirts does he go through every day? Shaping it just like clay. That's so cool. Our state-of-the-art laboratory. We've only made the bare essentials so far. We wouldn't get bare essentials, the ramen shop right there in the corner. It looks like fun. They're playing. They got shiny stuff. Sometimes he sounds like Deku. We need gold and silver spears. The truth that a gold and silver spear will help them beat magma, or is that just it's motivation? Okay, I'll put it in a way you'll understand. They ten billion percent only want gold and silver spears because they think that'll make them cool. Let's break in this lab with a silver spear, oh. but only a silver one. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that, Keenro. Oh, just say that you need glasses, man. Always everyone's favorite. So you'll be exploring an area that's ridiculously dangerous. The next episode, then. Literally die in an instant. Yeah, here are the credits. <sighs> Another banger episode of Dr. Stone. <sighs> Such a wholesome episode, once again. I didn't write any- I, I, well, I wrote, like, the old man's name, which is Old Man Kasi, and then the glasses. But, I've gotta say, it's just like the light bulb. It's just like the light bulb, you know? You never would've thought, like, these glasses, like, wow. Such a powerful feeling of wholesomeness when Suika finally is able to see again. It's so like you, you really we do really do take some stuff for granted. It's so pure. She's adorable. She is adorable. I didn't know why she didn't want to have her face revealed, but the nearsightedness, especially like this kind of society, people wouldn't really understand. And like they they thought it was something wrong with the or at least Suika thought it was something wrong with her, but just you know, just genetics it happens. I need glasses too. I'm pretty nearsighted. Not I'm not Suika's nearsighted as at all, but like once you get a certain distance, it kind of gets a little blurry. And I have glasses. I don't like them. Uh, they hurt. Uh, which probably means I need to get them calibrated again, but I've, I've never liked my glasses, even though like they were calibrated, at the time, calibrated for me. I would use them, just, <sighs> strained my eyes, I never liked them, I would just, I would just take my chances squinting in the back of the class, or just taking a picture and zooming in. But man, that was so pure. That was so pure. And I didn't think we would see Zuika's face. Like, that was so extraordinarily quick. That, and it was not even a real Senku just, it's very cool. I would say that, that was not cool at all. That's, he had no chill and he had no right to do that to her. Yeah, he, he didn't know why she didn't want her face to be seen, but she's adorable. And now she can see. <sighs> that's sunflower seed, man. Uh, that's so pure. I wonder if we're gonna get glasses for her? Because glasses, I feel like, maybe require a little bit more ingenuity. But, like, the helmet works. Oh, okay, no, sorry. I heard something is uh, the treadmill, my sister's using it. Um, yeah, the, the, the helmet works. So, I wonder if we're gonna get a helmet for uh, Kinro, maybe? Uh, I don't think he'll wear glasses. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll like glasses. He'll probably say like, oh, those are lame. How, why would I ever wear that? Who knows, maybe he does get glasses, maybe he gets a helmet. Uh, the spear thing, like, the logic of that, maybe it catches his attention more and he can see it more clearly. No, not, or not see it clearly in the sense of it's 4K, but he's able to have a better judge of like, okay, the sparkling is about here. I don't know if that'll necessarily work. I mean, Kinra just wants a silver spear. That's that's all he wants. And if he gets a silver spear, then if, if, if Kinra doesn't get his golden spear, like well, he's screwed. And I don't, I don't, I just can't put my faith in Kinra to actually win this tournament. I would be surprised if he does. I'm not trying to say anything bad about him. But if you've seen Gaston, he's pretty big. He's got the size advantage, and he does seem semi-skilled. I mean, Kohakuru is just, she's just a whole league of her own. So, like, no one can really match up to her. But Gaston, I, I almost called him by his real name, Magma. Gaston is, um, well, he won. He went through everyone, so he's pretty skilled. I just don't think Kinra do that. But who knows, maybe this quest that Senku has him to go on to get some silver? Maybe it's silver? I don't know if he's actually sending to get silver or something. Um, it has the risk of his life, which I don't really know what he could be getting for him. I mean, they are going now to the drugs for medication, so maybe it's 
to collect it, and he knows it's like in a lion's den, maybe. And if you have to fight off a whole bunch of lions, then that, if, if he's able to fight off the lions, then that, le that at least puts him in Tsukasa's range. Which I don't think Magma can fight Tsukasa. Huh. Dang. Another, another situation that would have been solved if... Senku and Tsukasa only got together. Like, if they only... If they didn't have their, these, this ideology clash, this tournament arc would be a breeze. And yeah, we mentioned Tsukasa, we didn't really see him. <laughs> Senku's like, I bet this is 10 billion percent more fun than whatever the, uh, the Tsukasa's kingdom is. Tsukasa's kingdom is like, I don't, I don't know what they're doing. They're just, they're just having the time of their lives, I guess. Just like, anarchy, maybe. Not doing taxes, whatever Sukasa wants, probably murdering each other. But man, the glass. That was so wholesome. Was so wholesome, little Suvika. And then the old man! The old man is jacked! I love that trope. It's my favorite trope in anime. Or it's one of my, I say that a lot. It's one of my favorite trope in anime. It's always like the unsuspecting old man, he's like super jacked or he's super cool. They did it with um, Gran Torino in, one, in, uh, not one, in uh, My Hero Academia. His name's, I think his name is Silver Fang in One Punch Man. I just love that trope. I mean, my Master Roku, and I haven't seen Dragon Ball, but of course I know about Master Roku. <sighs> this show is just great. I love this show so much. Like, I'm literally just watching them make glass and it doesn't feel like 20 minutes it's such a fast paced show but it's so well paced too I l <sighs> so wholesome so I do wonder if they're going to make Kinro wear some glasses or not I don't think he will ever <sighs> if he gets beaten by Gaston which I'm pretty sure he's going to end up getting beat I think Chrome might be their secret weapon here. Like he might end up using science to beat Gaston. So if Kinro gets beaten by him, maybe he'll finally swallow down his pride and get the glasses or ask for the help that he very much doesn't. I wonder how nearsighted he is. Because Suika is pretty bad. Like her vision is pretty bad. Is he's he is not as bad. But he does have his issues with distance. You guys have trouble with distance? Like, any nearsighted lads, do you have trouble measuring distance? Because, like, I get... Am I mid-sighted? I mean, I could see things very close to me. Like, I could read this. I could read... I guess, like, the distance to my TV, I start having issues reading some text. But I'm not blind, so I guess I'm mid-sighted. I don't have any issues with my distance measuring. So any nearsighted lads, or any severely nearsighted lads, I guess, too. They, you know, anyone that needs glasses. You, you guys have uh, trouble measuring distance? Or, like, how bad, how bad does your vision need to be for uh, distance measurement to be an issue? I never really thought about that. Yeah, no, this show, this show's actually making me think, like, every day's dumb. It's just like, huh, never put it in that perspective. And uh, the uh, the hardness scale, I literally just took a, uh, was it geography? Yeah, I've, I've, it should have been geology, but I just took a geography class. And um, the, not the final test, but one of the tests that we did, one of our labs, um, we had to, uh, it was a digital, it was a digital class, it was online, so it was like through a, like a digital hardness thing, like we would like take two rocks, uh, just, like, you know, like tab it over, like this one I want obsidian, this one I want diamond, and then it'll um, scratch them for you, uh, and it'll tell you like, oh, this was, this one was scratched, this one wasn't, they both got scratched, um, the, uh, so when he was talking about the hardness scale, I was like, I just finished the class. Like, that was last semester. Right now, in college, I'm taking um, biopsychology and research method psychology. Uh, 
They're all right. They're, those classes are okay, but yeah, that geology class or geography class. I only really took it because I needed to take a physical science class. It was all right. It's okay, but that that rock, the the, the hardness skill, that was fun to do. I was it's just monkey scratching rocks. Like, <laughs> But yeah, when there's like, oh yeah, that's uh, rank 7 on the hardness, or no, that's rank 6 on the hardness, so that's perfect. I was like, I understood that reference. <laughs> ah, Dr. Stone. Yeah, no word on, um, what are their names? I always forget. Taiju and Yuzumiha. No word on them. We haven't seen them in, what? This is episode 11. I feel like we haven't seen them for like half the series now. It's been a while. They were mentioned just a little bit by Jin, but... Yeah, it's, I do wonder when we're going to see them again. But I'm having so much fun with this uh, with this village arc, I guess. This science ex ex scientific growth arc. I, don't, I just love seeing this everyday stuff that we have. Just how do we make it? We built a mini glass factory. We get to see how glass blowing is done. Which I watched uh, Unis Honest, Markiplier and Ethan's um, their uh, YouTube channel that they deleted for like a science experiment. Uh, I watched their glass blowing video. That was actually kind of interesting. I mean, I'm probably gonna suck at it, but yeah, seeing them do that, I'm like, I understood that reference too. I, I saw, I've seen some videos about people blowing glass. Uh, it's just like a rabbit hole that you fall into on YouTube. Uh, is it interesting? Like, I actually kind of understand what they're doing here. Yeah, I mean, like, I just, I just really want to get into the next episodes. I guess tune in next week, lads, if you want to see my reaction to whatever the heck uh, Senku is going to make Kinra do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. I don't know what's going to happen. You do. You know what other awesome science stuff they're going to get into within the next two seasons, so. Yeah, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. What did you like about this episode? Tell me about your nearsightedness, or far-sightedness. Like, tell me about, like, you know, tell me about like, any issues measuring distance. I'll see you lads next week for more Dr. Stone. Oh, hi, yo, Sakai, good morning, world.